right after NFL legend Mike Ditka slams Obama as worst president in history he gets nasty surprise. Being a conservative in TV isn't good for your career. In fact, you don't even have to be a conservative, you just have to be a free thinker that isn't willing to drink the liberal Kool-Aid, and the powers that be will find a way to make sure that you're either forced or or completely discredited. This has become especially true in the Trump era where those in the media consider it their mission to make sure they poison every American with what comes through their TVs and radios. The problem has even spread to sportscasters and is getting worse since the rapid growth of the NFL's national anthem protest. The one and only acceptable move on the part of many of these networks anchors is to do the politically correct thing and support the protesters. This isn't a rule that everyone is okay with. In fact, at least one former ESPN panelist just wasn't having it. Mike Dick approved that he's willing to put his money where his mouth is, where his viewpoint's opinion just cost him a very coveted position at ESPN, according to the Patriot Chronicle. Just one week after making the disparaging remark against Barack Obama, NFL legend Mike Ditka has been removed from his position as a panelist for ESPN's Sunday NFL Countdown. Appearing on Mopp's The Bernie and Sid Show, Ditka pointed out that Obama was not a leader. In fact, the NFL Super Bowl champion pointed out, Obama was worst president that the country had ever had. Dot on the bright side, Ditka did say that Obama would be fun to play golf with an activity that the president had been able to enjoy repeatedly, even when he heard the news that American soldiers are being killed in Afghanistan. Nothing seemed to interrupt the golf swing of the former community organizer. Dicta didn't get to where he is in life by mincing words, and he isn't about to start now. Someone asked him his opinion and he gave it. This happened a little over a year ago even before the widespread national anthem protest picked up so much steam. The fact that ESPN was trying, even before all of this, to silence any voice that made a political statement that they didn't agree with gives us an idea of how we got into this mess. It's no a secret that Ditka is a politically opinionated individual. He has been very open about his frustration with current officials and even considered doing something about it and running for office. Mike Ditka almost ran for U.S. Senator in 2004 against, then-candidate. Barack Obama, to replace Jack Ryan. Ryan had stepped out of the race after sealed court records from his divorce began to seep out to the media. Though Ryan's actual divorce papers had been made public, both he and his former wife Jerry Ryan agreed to keep the custody records private out of respect for their child. After winning the primary, Los Angeles Superior Court Judge Robert Schneider decided, despite both parents wanting the custody papers to remain sealed, that he would overturn that decision and make the documents available to the public. Although candidate Obama called for the records to remain out of the race, allegations were thrown that it was Obama backers who were feeding the information to the press. An extremely convenient win for the Obama campaign for sure. It's easy to see that Dukta is one of the many conservatives that are held to a different standard than other people in their same position. ESPN makes a show of putting sports first. But this, plus all the coverage and commentary that has covered the anthem protest would point to them putting their politics first. To be clear, putting your politics first isn't wrong, it's just a little underhanded to pretend that you only care about sports when you're also trying to endorse liberals and shut down conservatives. Ditka, who considers himself to be a conservative, said in a 2013 interview that the biggest mistake of his life was not running against Barack Obama in 2004, lamenting that if he had won, Obama would probably not have gotten to the White House. He's not a leader. This country needs leadership. It needs direction. It needs somebody that steps up front. While most on the outside looking in can see that the United States needs a unifying force. Companies like ESPN and the others in the mainstream media seem bound and determined to continue to divide us by whatever means necessary. If that means shutting down the voice of a Super Bowl winning coach in favor of the younger Antifa and BLM supporters, they're apparently willing to do that. ESPN seems to not be satisfied until they go the way of the NFL, tank tradings, lost money and a slippery slope into irrelevance. Relevance.